Hi, I'm gonna show you how to make this loot drop particle effect in Godot 4.2 that I used for my first game jam. And if you like this, consider subscribing and let's dive in. So open up Godot and let's make this a 3D scene. Hit the plus button and search for GPU particles 3D. Add that to, to your scene and there will be a warning. So to fix this warning, we want to make a draw pass. And let's make it a quad mesh. Open up the quad mesh. And on the material, I have imported a white circle. So I'm gonna drag the white circle into the material. So to make it transparent, we need to enable transparency and alpha. You can also do alpha scissor. I think that gives a better result. I like 0.9. Next, let's go to billboard and enable billboard and enable keep scale keep scale will enable us to change the scale later next we're gonna go to emission and enable emission and i'm gonna make it uh, let's make it yellow and let's increase the energy to something like five let's try that that looks okay now we can go up and go into the process material and let's make a new particle process material You'll see it starts falling, so let's open up the particle and in the spawn, let's change the position to the emission shape to a sphere and let's make it a little bit smaller, like maybe 0.5. We're gonna match that up later to the cat bill. Now let's go to the gravity in the accelerators, gravity, and let's, if we want it to go upwards, it has to be positive, so let's just remove the minus and we can see that's way too fast. So let's drag it down a little bit. Maybe that works. Let's put it to 1.5. And let's now go to display and scale. And I like doing scale curves. So a new curve. And I like at the end to make it smaller. So let's do that. And let's move this point out. Something like that. And we can increase the time to something uh, a little bit higher. Like maybe two or three seconds. Let's start with three seconds. Now I think I can put in the cat bill uh, into the scene to show how it looks. So on the curve, let's make this one a lot smaller. Something like that. And let's decrease the time to something like two maybe. Move the GPU particles down a little bit. And I think it's going up too fast. So let's decrease the gravity to maybe 0.5. Let's do 0.5. Move that up a little bit. Maybe increase the time to 3. And the emission shape to something a little bit bigger, to maybe 0.6 or 0.7. Let's also maybe increase the amount. Let's try 15. I also like in the randomness to put this at 0.5 I don't know what the difference is if I make it 1 I don't know, let's keep it at 1 that's good let's decrease the time to 2 as well and I think we have a pretty good loot drop particle effect now and a final uh, thing to make it look even better is adding an animation player and making the bell go up and also spin. So let's make a new animation and call it uh, bell animation anim. Let's animate the bell. So let's go to the cat bell and on the transform, put it to minus 360, create a new one. And I don't like creating a reset track, so let's turn that off. And go to the, let's make this 10 seconds maybe. And we can make it loop. So let's go to the last second and to make it loop, enable this uh, spinning thing at the right here. Now turn the Y to the max, so 360 and make a new key. And now let's check it out. I think that's pretty good. Now we also want it to go up and down. So go to the first frame. Let's move it down a little bit and in Godot, Y is the up and down. Um, so let's make it down a little bit to maybe minus 0.8. Make a keyframe for that. 
And let's go to the last frame and um, make it 1.2. And I just realized this won't loop very well, so we have to make in the middle to minus 1.2. Oh no, 1.2. Yeah. Uh, I think. Or maybe. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the particles because this is going way too high up, but I think I can put the particles as a child to the bell later to make them follow it. So let's, in the middle of the animation, put the highest point. And then at the lowest point, let's make it point away it again. And now it will loop perfectly, I think. Going up and spinning. And going down. And there it loops perfectly. I think it's going up and down a little bit too much. So we're gonna make this one, one decimal uh, lower. So instead of 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and instead of 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Let's check that out again. Perfect. And let's drag the GPU particles onto the cat bell as a child. And now it should follow the cat bell, so let's see that. Yeah, it's following, and I want it a little bit higher up. Maybe something like that. And let's run the animation again. That's pretty good. And you can adjust the speed by just making it like half the speed and moving these points. Uh, just like that. And I think it's looking pretty good. I did just realize that I don't like how the GPU particles scale. So let's fix that as well. I'm gonna make a new point just to have more control over it. And maybe delete that point. And I'm gonna select the last one and make it curve a little bit more. And making the max maybe 0.1. Uh, let's make the max 0.2. All of this is just like um, polishing, so you can do with it as you wish. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.